Hey guys, um, I've been improving my score on Mortarum, um, and I figured I'd show you guys an updated video. I know some of you are still waiting for me to do like a budget video. Um, I haven't gotten to it yet. I'm still working on focusing on my, my high score at the moment. Um, I will get to it eventually. But I've changed up the way I'm high scoring on this guy, and I've gotten way better points because of it. So let me go ahead and just show you what we're doing, and then I'll explain it more after you actually see it. So we're turning on 210% modifiers, we're leaving all the bulk modifiers off, and we're going to level 81. Um, because this is uncappable, as stupid as it is, you actually get dramatically more points by just hitting the boss as hard as you can on level 81 with all the bulk turned off. It's so it's so dumb, it's, it's so dumb, the, the, the way they change this, but it is what it is, you know, roll with it. So this is how we're going to be high scoring on this dumb Clash of Wills from now on, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead and show it. Uh, so we're going to shift Sky, and then we're going to do her shifted LB to stack it, along with Sephiroth, Kresnik, Will, Arcane, Anti- oh. Arcane Stimulant. Make sure you do the right skill. Arcane Stimulant. Roka is- not yet. Louise is going to Firepower, Power Boost, and Double Ionic. And Roka is going to Chaos Grenade um, to break the boss to give us uh, more morale. And Laura will Jade to give us more morale. Yeah, so we're going for a speed clear. So we need to fill morale by turn 5. Which is a little tricky to do, but um, I've worked out how to do it by turn 5. Almost always. I think like once or twice I'll be 1% short. Almost always get there by turn 5 though. Um... We also got to stack up Sky, which is a little trickier because we're doing it um, with less support. But again, it, it's fine. It's fine. All right. So we're going to stack Sky again. Um, Crestnik is going to Arcane Remedy this turn. Uh, Louise is going to, let's see, times four Ionic to fill up Sky again, if possible. Uh, Sephiroth is going to shift and triple purging. Laura is going to triple hotshot. And we're going to try to get some drops on Sky if possible. Also, this is filling, this is filling morale by slowly damaging the boss with weak elements. Um, we'll Chaos Grenade right here again to break the boss. A tiny bit more bonus morale. Okay. Almost got Sky. We might get her next turn. If not, we'll have to use Haste. Um, it's, it's guaranteed to get Sky, it's just sometimes we have to use Haste on Roku, and I'd rather use Chaos Grenade again instead of Haste. But um, if, we, if we gotta use Haste, we'll use Haste. Okay, so on this turn, we're gonna set up for the big burst. We're gonna use the Magnus of Louise, um, Power Boost, Mitigation, and Heavy Firepower on this turn. Uh, Sephiroth in the base form is going to base form LB. This gives us a bigger Dark Imperil we didn't have before. Um, which is, you know, more damage. Uh, Kresnik. Kresnik is going to Stimulant a second time. Now, using Stimulant twice is actually less efficient long-term, but it's great for short-term morale, which is what we're looking for in this clear. Um, we're going to triple Hotshot with Laura, and we're going to hope that we get some Crystal Drops on Sky. If we don't, we got to haste with, um, with Roga. We got it. Great. So we can Sky Flurry. If we didn't get Sky's LB, we would triple haste and double boomer and you know just deal more damage but because we got her lb we're gonna go ahead and chaos grenade for more morale we don't need we don't need haste so the morale should be around like 23 24 percent 25 percent we're looking for at least 24. we, we, we might have gone as long as low as 22. 23 great it's fine as long as we got 24 or better we filled morale because we're gonna do 24 percent this coming turn all right so for this turn we're going to, with Louise, we're going to Firestarter, Firepower, Diverse, and Power Boost. Uh, with Sephiroth, we're going to Magnus and Double Purge. And like I said, we're using all the big buffs. We're doing all the damage on turn five. So all the cooldowns, everything is getting used to get ready to hard burst on turn five. We're going to imbue Sky with Fire. Kresnik is going to um, Remedy, Supplement, if we if we were zombie, we would do antioxidant. Because we're not zombie, we're gonna use potion instead. If you're zombie, use antioxidant. Laura is going to do keen, explosive, and hot shot, and we're going to SLB on Louise. 
doesn't really matter who, honestly, just SLB. It's the SLB is for the AoE buff. Okay, morale has been maxed, and we're going to be bursting on turn 5. Now we're looking for a... Well, let's go ahead and get the turn 5 first. So some attacks, blah, 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 doesn't really matter. No dispels, you know, we're, we're, we've got it all timed perfectly. So the boss is debuffed, and we are buffed. Now you might be wondering about volatile ammunition. We didn't use that yet on Laura. Let's go ahead and get all this auto casting out the way, and then I'll explain in more detail about the Laura situation. All right, auto casting, blah blah blah. Come on, a lot of auto cast. Let's go ahead and do them all on my shifting first before I start blabbing on about the details of this burst turn. Because this burst turn is a little bit. It's gonna look crazy. It's not. It's not at all. It always works, even though it's gonna look insane. So let's go ahead and do all my shifting. Okay, so before we do this, and and we're gonna do the 400% resounding will, and oh, there's no point. We're gonna do resilient will as well, just because. Okay, so no change here. Sephiroth and Sky are gonna LB. Roka is gonna support chain. Kresnik is gonna support chain. Okay, here's the big changes. Laura is going to volatile on this turn. Volatile ammunition applies the breaks and the amplifies before damage. In our chaining, we're going to have Louise and Kresnik chain first. Um, we did the spirit break on turn three from Louise's Magnus. The boss is already spirit broken and already imperiled from turn three on Louise's Magnus. Then we're going to start chaining Laura and Roka. They're going to start chaining after the chain has been built to the maximum possible modifier. So we're going to wait like a second for the chain to build from Louise and Kresnik. Then Laura's going to jump in as the first physical chainer, and her Volatile will put all, the, all those debuffs before damage is dealt for all the rest of the party. Then Sky and Sephiroth can come in and cap on that 90% defense break from Laura. It also benefits herself. As far as Louise goes, Louise is built pure damage in the shift form. She is not provoking in the shift form. She is not resisting in the shift form, which as you can imagine is going to lead to chaos when we start this threshold because people are going to start dropping dead left and right. It's going to look like, oh, we just wiped. The magical silver bullet is Kresnik. He has 100% camouflage innately. So the boss is going to be going wild, killing everyone while there's no tank. He's going to run out of actions before he gets to Kresnik. So even though everyone's going to be like dropping dead, Kresnik will be sitting there looking pretty. And after the threshold, he can recover the entire party with one button. So let's go ahead and chain. We're looking for high variance. I, my variance has been between like 8.8 .8 billion to as high as 9.4 billion. So we're looking for like a really high roll if possible. Here we go. Give me that 9.99. I, I, I don't think I can get 9.99, but I can get decently high, I think. All right, come on. Suspense, what do we get? 9.823, that's my highest ever. Outstanding. Okay, here's the threshold. Boss, no one's provoking. Boss is going nuts. Killing people left and right. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Don't care, don't care, don't care. He's going to run out of actions before he gets to Kresnik. Boom, and Sephiroth remains standing too. How awesome is that? Okay, sometimes people will be zombied here. If anyone is zombied, you're gonna use Remedial Will. Boom, zombie is cured. Now we're gonna use with Kresnik, who will always remain standing because of his 100% camouflage. Um, he is going to triple. We're gonna start with his enhanced full, his enhanced full life to AOE revive. Then we're gonna do Medicinal Potion and then we're gonna do Remedy for the Immunity buffs. That's gonna revive Louise back in the base form, who is also our Provoker in the base form. Now, if Louise had survived, just shift her back to the base form, you know, ma manually. Um, but, yeah, there we go. And anyone else that survives, bring them back to their safe form and do whatever you want. We actually didn't need Calamity Border there because um, the, we're not imperiled on this turn because Louise um, would have been whatever. Anyway, we've recovered. We're back in action. Our tank's alive, um, who is immune in the base form. You know, we're good. So now we're gonna go ahead and finish off this fight, right now. Because we're on level 81, we don't, we don't need to do any kind of big setup. Our damage turn has already been done. So we're just gonna normal attack Kresnik. That's going to refill LB gauge. Good to go. 
we're going to do the 400% attack and magic buff. Uh, now the boss does have all his buffs. Oh, they're still there. Interesting. Anyway, we're going to do this anyway. So we're going to shift Louise. We're going to do fire starter. That's an AoE fire imbue only for one turn. One turn's all we need to finish the fight. So we're going to AoE imbue with the field. We're going to gun in peril, and we're going to break the boss with neutralizing. And the rest of the party is, is plenty enough to just finish off the boss. The damage is going to be low. It doesn't matter. We already did our high damage. So we're, we're, we're all fire imbued. Um, we're stat buffed from the morale bar. And the boss is broken and all. Let's go boomer three times. Now the boss does have these buffs up from the threshold. We don't really care. It, it's fine. We're on level 81. And oh, we're going to shift. And we're going to do volatile ammunition again. And we're going to finish off the fight. So we're going to go ahead and chain it the same way. We're going to click Laura first, and then we're going to click the rest of them, and then there's there, there's the fight. 9.8. Ooh, I, I, I could have gotten 9.9 .9 with a perfect roll. Perfect roll. Could have gotten a 9.9 .9 variance. Anyway, um, and that is our high score. That is my best score yet, so I'm glad I was recording for this one. Yeah, I've ran it about seven or eight times. Um, my highest previous was like 9.4. You always get the best roll when recording. Isn't that awesome? Anyway... Here is nine six point six hundred and forty six thousand points. Okay, okay. So this this is going to be misleading. I'm going to show you the damage details. It's going to look funky because we're showing the entire fight, including that last like finish off turn where we didn't power up, we didn't buff. It's going to look really uneven, but I'm going to show it anyway just so people can see for science. Um, yeah, Laura got her full buff. Because remember, like I said, Laura's volatile ammunition fully buffs her before damage. So she had two fully powered burst turns. Sky um, died and lost all her stacks, so she's weaker. Sephiroth had no amplify whatsoever. We didn't re imperil the boss or anything. So again, Sephiroth is looking weaker than he really is. It, it, this is not a fair comparison. I'm just showing for science. And then Louise. Louise is the only fair comparison. on Because she only chained on the kill turn. On the kill turn, Louise did 1 billion. There you go. So there is my relatively quick and... Oh, I was about to say, give me the red pearl for the perfect video. But it didn't, it didn't give me the red pearl, of course. I have not seen the red pearl yet. Anyway, um, I moved up a rank. I'm rank 14 now. Uh, some of these are cheaters, though. So I have, it's not updated yet, 646,000. Yeah, it doesn't update this page immediately. So 600, so I passed up Gruick, and then um, Cloud Z and Above. I don't know, you know, at some point, like Terra and Above, these are these are cheaters. These are 100% cheaters because there's no way to get that high of a score. But um, these players, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they're legit. Um, I'm legit. Uh, and then beyond here, I don't know. But I'll tell you what, though. I am currently beating people on my friends list. Yeah, boy. Anyway, okay, we're, we're going to stop fooling around the rank. Let me go ahead and show you the team and the explain what what went on. So, um, okay, so here's the team. Um, it's very similar to my original team. I just modified it for a quick clear, as you saw, and it, you know, fine. Um, so some small changes that we have. Okay, so Sephiroth is now using Dragon's Brush called the Wild in the base form. He's also using um, a fire weapon in the base form. This is so he's always hitting weakness damage while setting up so we get more morale in the um, in the base form. Uh, so Call of the Wild the Call of the Wild at all the Call of the Wild in the paintbrush is so that he can refill his LB gauge after being revived, so we can finish finish off the fight on turn seven. Um, it just speeds it up a little bit, makes it a little bit safer. Uh, yeah, full evasion as well. Um, and Calamity Board, actually, for that strategy, we're not, we never use Calamity Border, so you can ignore that. Um, shift Form, no change from what you saw in my first video. He is built for damage. 50% uh, or better evasion, so 50 evasion, maxed LB, maxed Reaper, and 150 stone. Um, base Form, Laura. Uh, we gave her the Conductor's Baton. This allows us to get a tiny bit more morale for free in the beginning of the fight. Um, fire weapon in the base form. Uh, Jade Pendant helps out. Jade Pendant is optional. It does fill morale quickly on turn one. If you don't have it, it's not critical. Um, equipped instrument. Full, full evasion in the base form. Shift form, damage. Um, I've explained I've explained to her last video. She has uh, 50 evade naturally. 
Um, she is maxed Reaper and 250 Stone Killer. She's got killers in literally every single slot except for um, the chain cap. So like I can't gear her in. I think I, th I think this is her literal best in slot. I think maybe I don't know. I think it is. Um, Roka in the base form is using a fire weapon. Um, she's you get out of here. She's using Riku's pouch for the um, chaos grenade. I gave her provoke. Uh, uh, I gave her seventy percent provoke. Don't full provoke her. I gave her that just so that um, she, because because she's the least important person to survive the threshold. So I wanted I wanted her to always take the first few hits during the threshold and get killed. That way, maybe Sephiroth or Sky could survive and preserve their stacks. It's optional. You don't, you don't really need to do that. She doesn't need full evasion though. Uh, full evasion. That's all that really matters. She has no shift form. Sky base form. Double fire weapon. Um, we're using the magic, or we're using the the Clash of Wills helm and the Clash of Wills robe or clothing uh, because these auto cast morale every single turn. Every little bit of morale helps. Make sure she's wearing those in both forms. Wh whoever's wearing your 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 morale gear, um, both forms. Craftsman's book in the base form. Double fire weapon in the base form, which is actually not important. So yeah, I just realized that was for an old strategy. Um, full evasion in the base form, shift form, damage, LB damage, uh, gun build, there we go, she's maxed on everything I believe, um, 577, max, max, oh, 275 uh, stone killer, could she be better? I think she's literally best in slot as well, maybe, I don't know, in any case, that's the build she used, Louise, okay, so Louise is a, a, little, a little bit of a big change, a big change, uh, we now have the resist modifier turned on because the big in peril only happens on the threshold and then later in phase two we don't stay in phase two like any time at all we get out of there immediately after we start phase two and then on the threshold we don't care who dies like whatever so we gave her um and for the beginning of the fight we don't need earth resist by using the reflect ring the reflect ring is permanent reflect all the earth damage is reflectable so she's immune to earth permanently because of the reflect ring and she's got 320 or better or 300 or better um fire and dark so she's still immune even with even with imperils uh and that's including the negative um modifier we had turned on uh and she's provoke evasion etc and we changed her card to the team sage card because this gives 30 to all the proper resistances um, and then a shift form, damage. We built her pure damage, no provoking, no resist. We only shift her on the burst turn, and she gets she does all the damage possible, and then she gets she gets destroyed. We don't care. So full damage. Um, I think she was maxed on everything. I think uh, not quite on actually it's close enough. Um, but her killers are maxed Reaper, 290 stone, close enough, and yeah. She dies, and when, when she gets revived after the threshold, she's back in the base form, provoking. She's tanking again. Wonderful. Kresnik, um, no real change here. Yeah, his chain, no, no real change. He's still quad attacking, evasion, counterattack for the stuff. Yeah. And then he has, um, in the base form, uh, Blessing of C Caduceus. 100% uh, camouflage. Uh, camouflage has diminishing returns, but if you have 100% from a single source, there's no diminishing returns because it's a single source of camouflage. So there you go. You never get hit. It's pretty awesome. Um, Legendary Hero Sephiroth, we already, we already did him. And that's the whole team. Okay, there is my high score. Relatively quick run. If I wasn't talking so much, the whole run takes maybe four minutes or less. Um, and you can just keep re-rolling it over and over for variants. All right, see you guys next time.